welcome to my channel if this is your first time welcome i'm mike if you're a regular viewer you've seen these type of videos before uh, this one is going to be about some lego good bundles so one of the last ones i did a lego bundle which was pretty rubbish so i thought i'd balance it out and show you a bundle i bought on facebook a while back which was decent so this pickup i picked up i think it was about november time not long sorted it out it was 50 pound on uh, facebook marketplace i messaged the, uh, the seller if they still got it said yes and i did the deal straight away i'll show you on the screen here what it looked like so you can see it now that was all i seen it was a white tub and it showed me a, uh, a harry potter hogwarts express and it showed me a star wars jedi starfighter so the 50 pounds for the bundle i seen those two uh, booklets so i thought they're going to be in it it's worth a little dabble uh, and it was so i will show you what else so it's now a red tub so the buyer give it me the others have swapped over and i've broken all these kits down let's take them out There's some baseboards so i've broken them all down i'll go through them one by one and show you what they're worth so let's get into it a lot of this in here is going to be happy potter so you've seen the train listed i didn't know these were in here until i started going through it and it took me, if I'm honest, a couple of days to break these all up into colours and pull out the bits and identify what sets they were from. A good, if you don't know, a good website to use is Bricklink. That's where I purchase any spare parts that I'm missing. So Bricklink's good. You can click on the set number, it gives you everything that's in the uh, set, itemises it, shows what the minifigures are, gives you rough prices. So. You probably know about Bricklink if you're watching this, but if you don't, they're great. There's other ones like Brick Owl as well. I only use Bricklink. So, this set, as you can see, little Harry Potter's there. This is set 4726, Quidditch Practice. So, as I said, I'll show you as I'm going along, so you can see what should be in this set. Uh, most of the things have been in this box there was a few bits and bobs missing that i've purchased from britlink i think in total it cost me about 17 pounds to get all the little extras now i probably have got the extras in my shed but i wasn't going to waste any time so if you come across them i'll just relist them if they're you know special pieces so yeah went through this that's the uh, quidditch one from 2000 and let's say one 2001 to two so all of these are from roughly that year, 2001-2002, so the class is vintage. And I should have put a price on them. So I worked off the price of sales, so I've gone to the low end, so you've got a rough idea. So this would be 15 to 20 pounds. So that was not bad. Set number 4735, which is the Slytherin, I think it's Slytherin Con Room. This one, 20 to 25 pound. So you can see straight away there, two sets, which took a bit of time. The 50 pounds looking good already. The next one is, I never had it thought it's all Harry Potter. There you go, you can see Malfoy there. You can see Dobbit, the back of his head. This one is set, 4731. This is Dobby's release. £10 for that one, so it's not too bad. Next one is set 4712, you can see that, nice little set. The troll in this set is uh, worth the money. If you find that on its own you can sell that for a good £10 plus I think. This set goes for 20 to 25 Now. I was thinking, because I do like Harry Potter, I'll be open and honest with you lot. I am sad and a bit of a geek and I like Harry Potter. I was thinking of keeping these. I'm not decided yet. Maybe you throw some comments in, do we keep them, do we sell them? Uh, the next one is set 4705, the bigger one. 
Uh, it's on the screen now. Can't remember what it is. Let's have a look. Ah, Snape's Class. So, Snape's Class. I'll show you actually while we're here. Told the Brit Link, I printed them all off. There's the itemised uh, items that come in it. So we've got page and page, and I just go through, tick them all off, and rummage around till I find them. So that's my method of doing it. Some people have a different method. So, yep. I'll dispose of this at some point. But this set, because it's got all the figures in, 15 to 20 pounds. So you can already see my money's been made back already. So let's close this up. I won't bore you with this, I'll skip on to the next one. You don't want to be seeing me closing up a bag. And then the main piece. 4758. This is the Hogwarts Express. Uh, I think on a few of these I'm still missing one or two. I'm missing Harry Potter's head on one of them, but I've got that spare. So they're all pretty much complete, every one of these, barring the odd one or two things. This one goes for 30 to 40 pounds. That was a lot of work. So that's not too bad. So, also in it was the Lego Star Wars Jedi Starfighter. Now, if you've watched me before, I've probably mentioned my son loves his Lego, he loves his Star Wars. And for some reason, I've agreed to this deal. Like, if we get a bundle, he can whip out all the Star Wars. So he does pretty well out of it. That one he's got already. Uh, and I think that one goes from £15 to £20. So I'll never get any profit back on that. He's got that to add to his collection. It's the vintage one. So that's them. Let me have a quick tot up on this. So tied up with just these Harry Potters. That's £120 return. So with £50 I've got back. £70 on top of it. You could call that Harry, uh, that's what it, Harry Potter Lego, Star Wars, more profit. So there's 20 on top of that. So that's not too bad. It's just time consuming. Now, there's some other bits that came in here as well. These are weird looking things. They're just called X Pods. They're not really worth anything. Probably fork with each. So I'll bundle them together. It's just a little pod that makes some sort of like alien type of thing. Still eight quid. I'll bundle them together, get rid of it. I've also got this like an Arctic set. I'll show you that now. As you can see, it's a snowmobile, a uh, little man in his Arctic suit, a polar bear. Can't find a polar bear. I will, I know I've got one, I've seen one. So when I get that together, I'll add it to this set. And it goes for £10. So that's another £10 that is on. Now, I'll get these built up for pictures to list them on eBay. I'll get my assistant through that, which is my son, give him some enjoyment of building these little uh, sets up. I'll photograph them. But I'll never break them down when I sell them because it's too much hard work. I'll just sell them as a uh, whole and it's down to the person you have earned if they want to break them down and redo them. That's it for selling. I'll sell this Arctic one, the other ones, but I'm not sure about the Harry Potter ones now. Obviously, for sort the of plane. I live close to a little small airport, so it's all quite regular. Right, I'll flip you around and show you what else I've got because just the sets were worth it. But there's more money to be had. I'll quickly explain. So, as I mentioned before, I've got all the reds in the bag. That's a decent amount of reds done. Time consuming, but it's done. I've got some vintage base plates that they sell on their own. There's a few here that are cracked, so I will dispose of them. Well, this is the old grey. Uh, that one's broke, that one's going to as well. The green ones will sell. They go for all came with. And in here is all sorts of weird and wonderful things. I'll show you. So in that bag we've got some old grotty blue ones. These are vintage ones. I mentioned before you can tell by that little mark on there. That, that will indicate it's an old one, the way it was uh, put into the mould. There's all sorts in there. Little tiles, roof tiles. So they're separated. I will pull out the little legs if it's in colour. As you can tell that compared to them. Big. Not just showing you blue on blue here, but yeah, big difference. So, 
they get whipped out. I've got yellow ones. They're probably no good anymore. I'll explain why they're no good. I tried to be smart and that didn't work on them. Another live and learn. Pull out the doors, these are vintage window frames. They will go for good money. We've got these old wheels and these like you can put electrical things into them. Is that the ones? Oh, I think ones in them. They're old wheels anyway. I do have some electrical ones somewhere. Old wheel bricks. They're not bad. Old. I'm not going to get these out. I don't know. Old train wheel bits as well. Again, these are my for all this vintage stuff. So we've got old windows. They will go well. Old white ones. A few more red bits and bobs. Roof tiles, I'll explain about that one in a second. And bits more grey. I forgot, i go through this. More tiles. Translucent ones. They go well. More grey, more reds. A few blacks. Vintage, not even white anymore, are they? More of a cream colour, broken, scratched, and looks out. I'm going to do all these yet. Maybe so. I don't know. I've also taken out of this uh, is some flags and fences. They've sold already, so I'll try and throw these up now if, if I've got the footage of them still. It's only, only a couple of months, probably still listed. I've got. I've got some fences, I've got some flags, I've got some numbered and lettered bricks that they have on already and you can see what they hopefully will go for. So yeah, there's a fair bit of Lego in there, the vintage stuff. Now the roof tile that's playing, I, I already made, I already sold some of these in one of my first videos. It was my first video. I'll show you on screen what I did. I just made these tiles into a roof tile as you can see on screen. And they sold for 7 49 So they're only worth pennies. But because I took the time and just making a quick roof, roof tile, I photographed it, they sold. So that's a good way of doing things different. Uh, I'll explain what I said before. Is I'll mess these ones up. So, look at the colour on them. So you see how light they are and white. Because I was cleaning these up, I used a, I think it was elbow grease I was using. Uh, which is a clean detergent. I sprayed them all, left them in to be soaked, left them in too long to be soaked, and it took the colour red off and made this like a very light pink. So they're not good anymore. I'll just throw them into a I'll recycle them or throw them into a vintage bundle or something. Somebody may make use of them. So that's kind of killed them off. Somebody may want them, you never know. What they should look like is should look a bit more like that red. These will sell. These ready windows. Because of vintage. The ones are gone. So it is good money to be made. I was showing you that 7.49 just for sticking a couple together. I'll make decent money on these vintage parts. So to wrap up that video, I just thought I'd show you what can be done. Take a chance on some of the um Facebook Marketplace bundles, I generally always do. If I see one part I think's good, or booklets, I generally know the product's gonna be in there with a booklet, so it's worth a punt. I've doubled my money, probably tripled my money, well, definitely tripled my money on the sets. The time aspect of it, it is a pain, but you never know what's in there. I'll sell all these other bits, that'll probably pay for the actual full bundle, and then leave me with these sets. Again, I've not decided what I'm gonna do, to store them because I know that's just money there anytime I want to make them up I can make them and list them and they'll sell pretty quick anyone who does uh, Lego on eBay knows it sells fast especially coming towards the end of the year so yeah let me know what you do with them am I sad keeping them or should I just turn it into cash right thanks for watching that very quick one uh, I'll catch you on another picking video hopefully picking and selling right thanks for watching Take care.